Well, here we are again. Back to back Brenda gear reviews. But hey, I was the one that told you guys the Modi might actually be a better option for those of you who don't really need the fancy shenanigan stuff that the Modi has. So why don't we just, you know, dive in properly and actually review it, right? Right. Okay then, let's talk Modi. For transparency, it was Brenda who sent both the Modi and the Loki Mini Plus that we just looked at for review, but as you guys are probably tired of hearing, it definitely makes no difference in what I'm about to say anyway. So this specific version of the Modi is the 3 Plus, not the Moti bit variant. This is just a plain Jane Modi 3 Plus DAC with a AK4490 chipset inside that, for lack of a better or fancier way of putting it, does a pretty good job at translating and transforming your digital signals into stuff that you can feed your amplifiers for your speakers and your headphones and that type of stuff. There's really nothing else to spice up here in terms of how to present the Modi. And that's sort of the point. At a starting price of $99 for the 3 Plus, the Modi is made to be as simple and elegant an entry to the world of dedicated tax as one could potentially get. And it does all that keeping the $99 price tag while still being made in the US, by the way. Now that multi-bit variant is $250 and we're not talking about that, but the Modius is a bigger and better DAC than the Modi, it's twice the price, it's got balanced outputs, and it still manages to cost less than the multi-bit version. I mean, what the hell do I need to expect from that multi-bit stuff? Is it going to make my setup fly or grant me entrance to Narnia or something? Anyway, Let's talk build. The entire body is made out of aluminum. Opting for this silver finish will get you this shiny, smooth, silvery tone that has been sort of Brenda's trademark look for a long time before they started messing with, you know, black and gray and black and red finishes. There's the small branding on the front side together with the LED that indicates power and a three-step switch that toggles between the different sources for the actual DAC. Backside, you've got source options, one of them being USB. It's micro, unfortunately, but what can you do? Optical and coaxial digital inputs. There's a second USB for power. If you want to use the included cheap five watt cell phone charger that they include in the box, like a small wall art, and a pair of RCA outputs. And that's it, we're done. Again, simple and elegant, easy clap. Now the Modi is definitely not made to be a powerhouse of connectivity, but Brenda kind of expects that you will at least consider pairing it with a Magni, so, you know, to keep it company. And since the Magni comes with its own set of pre-outs, your entry-level Brenda stack setup kind of really doesn't need anything else. Aside from maybe speaker amps, if you're rocking passive monitors, for example, but other than that. Now, if you're into measurements, I'm not, but I'm also not gonna judge, the Modi actually performs identically to the Modius, and both of them perform better than the multi-bit variant of the Modi, at least in terms of total harmonics distortion and IMD. Those are just the facts, but maybe those are the facts that actually translates into the Modi being able to deliver more body, more meatiness, more separation, give more presence to the sound quality it pushes. I doubt it, that's probably not the reason, but let's just pretend that this is a sort of deep big brain thinking scenario. Either way, that is about what you should or could expect from any DAC. And I don't mean entry level, I mean any DAC, period. Because that's kind of what DACs do. Some do its job better than others, and some have specific characteristics, specific flavors to the sound quality. But the basics are always the same. And the improvements you get from having something like a Modi 3 in your setup, rather than just having a source plugged directly to a powered pair of speakers, is definitely there as well. And the same goes if you have a pair of passive monitors that you need to add amplification before them. But the real situation where this is probably going to be able to really, really grab your attention is when you're using amplification to headphones, because that's when it's going to be able to get up close and personal to show you all those little extra details. Everything is just gonna be that little bit better that little bit richer. And one of the things that I've been finding most interesting about what Brenda has been doing to their entry and sort of entry level gear is the fact that 
kind of independently of your speakers and headphones and the gear that you're actually using to listen to your music, a simple Modi Magni stack is basically about as much as you would ever need. And if you wanna get fancy with balanced shenanigans, then jump in price is actually pretty small for a superb level of quality and performance with very little to basically no drawbacks. Add to that the strides that Brenda has apparently been making with their gaming deck amps and everything else in their lineups, aside from speaker amps, because those are kind of, you know, necessary, but everything else seems to be shaping up to be more and more specialty items that are more expensive because of their specific applications and not because they deliver better quality when compared to what the entry level stuff is capable of. Stuff like that multi-bit gambit that Brenda has a bunch of different items in their lineup with multi-bit variants at least, or the option for it. Tube amps, modular stuff, mid-level and high-level gear. You most likely don't need any of that to have an amazing sounding experience with an entry level Brenda stack. But I guess it's also nice to know that if you want to add to what your entry level gear already gives you, you at least have the option within the same overall family. So in a quick recap, excellent build, small form factor, easy, simple, and elegant, excellent sound quality. And for what it delivers, it's actually a bargain of a price tag. It's got basically no drawbacks and your setup is definitely going to be better off with something like this rather than not having it. Which means this is yet another thumbs up for Brenda. That's three in a row. It's basically a collection up to this point. Keep it up. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. So like, subscribe, hit the bell, leave any comments or suggestions down below as usual if you're feeling like it. Also share the video as well if you've enjoyed it because it really helps me out a lot and I appreciate it. Check out these other videos that might be of interest to you. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Gus and I'll catch you guys later.